We have with us Vincent Barreau, Vice President of Secure Power and Data Center at Schneider Electric on Let's Talk Tech. Welcome, Vincent. Good to it's see you. Lovely to be talking to you again. Yes. Uh, this year. So, uh, with Schneider Electric playing a central role in shaping the future of sustainable high performance infrastructure, what is your perspective on where the data center industry is headed, especially in the dark region? First of all, I mean, I, I think you have noticed that we have Motiver everywhere on our booth. So, this is a big acquisition that we did uh, beginning of the year, end of last year. Uh, what Motiver is about is about high efficiency on cooling system related to AI. So in fact, I mean, you were asking me how we, uh, we are doing uh, to work on sustainability. For us, the core of the DNA is to having the right product for the right application and a lot of innovation. So that's why we are working with them now. They are fully integrated in our team, in our portfolio, but liquid cooling, is really for us uh, extremely critical and we think that this is where the market is going. We know about the AI workloads that are driving unprecedented uh, energy demand, mm -hmm. right? So how are you personally approaching the challenges of balancing uh, performance, scalability and sustainability in the DAR region? So if we talk specifically about DAR, I think we had unfortunately for many years too many challenges. So first of all, we have a new government and it was a little long to establish for only two months. Germany has been highly impacted by the energy crisis with, uh, with the war in, uh, in Ukraine. And uh, at the same time, you can see that uh, the economy are, is not getting very well. But we need to mix that and to deal with this crisis, but at the same time, the high demand in AI. So what are we doing? But we do, uh, as we always did, having an extremely strong team uh, on the field to support customers, from tendering to execution and services. Because uh, what is important, I mean, we've got customers who need to be supported. So our strategy in Germany, Austria and Switzerland is always the same. As close as possible to the customer, as early as possible. Because if you are not involved in the design, it would be complicated to be really efficient. And then to support them, on to the, into the life cycle of the project and after to succeed. So what trends and uh, or challenges are unique to the DAR region um, and that are shaping your data center strategy in 2025 and beyond? Geopolitics is having a, a big part now in the data center industry. So we see that the customs with Trump strategy has been challenging because the zone is kind of in an on-off. So investment, no investment more investment, less investment, and there are a lot of, of announcements in the news and in the stock exchange uh, relating to, uh, to big players. Uh, one day it's a lot, the other day they don't invest, so I think we're going to have some information soon about new wave of investment. So this is the main challenge. We are in a world of uncertainty with a lot of external aspect uh, influencing, but at the same time, we see that the government are investing massively we have as well a need for a sovereign cloud. Definitely in Germany, and I must say, if I'm, even if I'm not super happy with it, a lot of investment in defense is coming, unfortunately. And it is the case for Germany, but as well with Switzerland. So we try to mix all those information together with our product is our solution to answer to those new challenges. But even if there's a massive wave of investment, there's as well a, a lot of uncertainty on the market, uh, given what's happening in the world. Given this re geopolitical reality you're painting, mm -hmm. if you're sitting with a level C customer or just one of your clients and you wish to advise them about their data st their strategy for the next three to five years, what I think, would you say? I think Germany uh, didn't do the best to attract investors. So in the past, Frankfurt uh, always been uh, a really key place in Europe, part of the flap countries to invest in data center. But I think Germany, um, I would say not Austria and Switzerland because it's different, has not become so attractive for investors. But when, when I see the economy and when I talk to economists on the market or specialists, they want to be back in the data center race. So I think some dereg deregulation will come. And uh, Frankfurt was a key place, but we see Berlin rising a lot. So if I was an investor, I would say start to look on Berlin. I know they already started, but most likely another large city 
Düsseldorf is not yet on, uh, on the map, but I, I think it's coming. And for sure, Switzerland, super interesting zone. Why? Because it's in the middle of Europe, but not in Europe. Are so we going to where? see uh, Germany and UK neck to neck in terms of data center capacity? Because the UK well, is now number one, isn't it? I think that is still the biggest, but anyway, I mean, we, we work together with our colleagues, but surprisingly, those two places are not the most attractive one now at the moment for investors and used to be the biggest. I mean, if you, if you ask me where it's rising a lot, it's really in the Nordics. But now, which type of data center it will be? Most likely it will be training AI data center, uh, not inference. So I think the market is trying to stabilize on design and where to invest. And, uh, and I really think that UK and DAR uh, going to be again in the future uh, huge, huge zone of investment. Can you see an elephant in the room that nobody is talking about? When we talk about mega trend, when we talk about AI, we need to be very precise about what we're talking about. And uh, we can see the uh, up and down of the stock exchange uh, for small information. Um, for example, the deep six story. I mean, we, we really need to see what AI is about. And uh, there's a lot of marketing about everything in the world, but we need to go back to something more stabilized. It's going to be complicated, but I, I really hope at some point there will not be an AI crisis as we face with internet, a bubble, for example. So, uh, but I think that's an elephant in the room that many people expecting somehow, but it is important to, to be careful a little in our world where everything is about marketing and communication, to be very concrete. Not in my backyard. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is again something that seems to be impacting businesses' growth with regards uh, engaging communities or changing perceptions. What do you think we should do? First of all, by definition, data center were always focused on energy efficiency. Because when you are a co-locator or someone who rents energy and space, you want to be as efficient as possible to make more money. But people are saying it's bad, but some, some people who say it's bad are at the same time chatting on their phone and posting something. Yes. So maybe there's, a, I would say, a reflection to have about what are we, what do we want to compromise in our day-to-day -day life? Because let's be clear, people have realized after, during the COVID that data center was a backbone of their life. So I think it's not the enemy, it's a tool to support efficiency. Because the more AI, the more intelligent intelligence we have, the more we can be efficient with our building. If you told me what, what is the main challenge, it's, it's more cooling. How do we manage smart cooling system? How are we more efficient? How do we manage? The, and for this, you need data center. So it's definitely not the enemy, it's more the solution. Okay, so in that region, you don't have this resistance. Are you able to build with the consent of the general public and the governments, etc.? I see, again, there has, been, um, there has been many regulations in place. So we have the, the German Energy Efficiency Act. Maybe it went a little too far, but for good, for good will, in fact. I think where, in terms of community, I mean, Two years ago, if you remind during the winter, there was a lot of stress with the energy uh, during. And I think now the, the country realized that they need to be more solid on energy. You can see as well what has happened in Spain, what has yeah. happened in London. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of reflection to how, but how we make everything sustainable and more reliable on this space. But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the, that the government are thinking about it. But again, data center will support that and not be the enemy.